Lessons on black history don't stop in the classroom. The local chapter of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated has been putting kids' knowledge to the test outside of school in a unique way for more than 30 years now. The curriculum is expanded and quizzes are more intense. KSAT 12's Jaffney Gray shows us how kids from local schools, churches, and organizations are challenged with knowing the African-American accomplishments of the past and the present. The best teams start studying in the fall. Eighth grader Nelania Wilson had been preparing for the Mahogany Braid Challenge since November, an event she has looked forward to every year since she first competed in the third grade. After seeing everybody in the first year and like how they did in the final round, how it was like head to head, I was like, I want to do this again. Like I want to be up there on that stage being able to win. This year, eight teams of elementary and middle school age kids memorized over 700 facts about black history, all to be put to a different type of test. In school, they only teach you about, like, you know, the main people, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, and there's, like, so many people that I didn't know that the traffic sign was made by a black person. Students are quizzed in a Jeopardy-style game that covers everything from black athletes and political figures to religious leaders. Also, current local leaders they can look up to, like Commissioner Tommy Calvert Jr., Councilman Art Hall, and former San Antonio Mayor Ivy Taylor. They need to know in their environment where they are born and raised and going to school, that they have those people that they can also look at and maybe someday aspire to be. Donna Milhouse is the president of Alpha Tau Omega, the sorority putting on the event. Since the trivia challenge first started 31 years ago, it has evolved thanks to new technology, community funding, and a growing interest in making sure black history shapes the youth and keeps writing itself. Uh, the main thing we want them to come away with is that you need to know your history in order to move forward. It's a lesson the students take just as seriously as they take the game. We have teams that come back annually because they want to get a rematch. So. It's just a really fun experience for me and just to see everybody come together because at the end of the day, win or lose, we always have fun doing it. Organizers say it's that enthusiasm that reassures them that they're making a positive impact in the community and creating their own black history in San Antonio. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News. Now, Nalalia, who just heard uh, from, is actually going on to win. Uh, she won on Saturday's competition with the red team of the National Society of Black Engineers. Now, the program is only for students third to eighth grade. Alpha Tau Omega continues their relationship with students in high school. They visit schools to promote college readiness and encourage them to apply to historically black colleges or universities. And right now on KSAT.com, we want to hear what Black History Month means to you. Just search Black History Month to find this page and then submit your story. You can also find all of the inspiring stories that we've covered so far in creating black history in this essays segment.